Okay, Ahlan was Ahlan, welcome back. I hope everything has been going well for you so far, having a chance to practice these vowels and consonants. Remember, as I said, if you don't get them all perfectly or recognize them all immediately at this point, that's not important. The point is getting the basis, uh, because you're going to see these same letters over and over again, and they will be reinforced to the point where you recognize them immediately. Well, Today we're going to have three new consonants, and the good thing is all three of them use the same shape. So you're going to learn one shape and we're going to use it for three things. Now we got a lot of use out of our previous shape, which is the one we use for ba, ta, noon. So this is a different shape, but we're going to get a lot of use out of this. So let's take a look at the basics of this, and I'll show you how it works in the different combinations. Now, this one is a little bit tricky to draw, uh, and I'm not a great calligrapher, so if it doesn't look beautiful, please, please excuse me. But this is our basic shape that we have here. Now you notice uh, part of it is above the line, and then there's this hook that goes below the line. Okay, so let's just take that basic shape for now and see how it works. And as I said, the only thing we're going to do is add, add a dot to it. That's going to be the only difference that we have. Okay, so obviously uh, this letter, if it's appearing by itself, would look like this. Now, as you've learned by now, the letters at the end of the word look pretty similar to what they look like when they're standing by themselves. So if this were to appear at the end of a word, which it often does, of course, we would just connect right into it like that. 